and I run community choirs and I've been involved in singing since I was little just informally and I used to teach music in primary schools and now I really enjoy working with adults and particularly adults who think that they can't sing or oh someone's told them they can't sing and I just enjoy giving them the freedom to be able to sing. So when did you first discover a kind of passion and love or singing? Oh, <laughs> I, some, I, so I grew up in Kent, in a village mm. in Kent, and I remember one of the old boys um, saying, oh, you can always tell when Janet's coming because you can hear her singing as she walks down the street. I think it was just something that I did. My parents met in a choir and, you know, I just used to love singing as I went around, yeah. As I may walk here on a May morning, I heard a bird sing. In particular, what, what's drawn you to folk music? Um, I, again, my mum was a keen recorder player and a very good recorder player, and she started out playing with the Dolmetsch family um, who ran. Um, uh, courses in also in Kent but sh prior to that she used to play recorder at uh, folk sessions like you can hear going on in the background here yeah. um, and d she broadened out into all sorts of other music and they met mum and dad met in a choir at Morley College but um, d singing folk songs and has always kind of been there along with all sorts of music I love and so obviously in the session today that I was uh, kind of filming a part of, um, what drew you particularly to choosing that Vaughan Williams song? Because I knew the, uh, when, I was, uh, when I was about 16, um, uh, a boy who was interested in me at the time asked me to join his folk group and um, this was one of the songs, Lovely Joan, but it was the other um, version of it that's in the Penguin Book of Folk Songs, yeah. um, which is the much more well-known one that everybody sings. Um, and so I was drawn initially just to the words and to the song thinking, oh great, you know, I know that one. But then when we, when I looked at it properly, I realised it was a, com a not a completely different tune, but quite a different tune to the one that's most widely known. And I thought, oh, actually this is interesting. And I looked it up, but couldn't find anybody else singing it anywhere and doing anything with it. So I thought it could be a really interesting one to do. So what initially drew you to the Vaughan Williams project and wanting to be a part of it? I suppose, as I said earlier, my parents had met in a choir. Mm. They, in fact, they met at um, the choir at Morley College mm. and Vaughan Williams used to go and teach there mm. along with Michael Tippett and uh, various other composers of the day. Um, it was an adult education college in South London and whilst I don't know his music massively well then I thought oh actually that sounds really interesting and I knew that he'd collected music and I'd recently seen the most extraordinary film about George Butterworth mm. which had come out and I'd seen at the Southwold electric light cinema which is the tiniest cinema in the world it's just amazing um, and it, it, the, it I was just really fascinated by the idea of these guys you know middle class 
men going out and collecting music from people out in Suffolk and Norfolk. So the song that we're going to sing is Lovely Joan. It's a version that was collected by Vaughan Williams in 1910 from a fisherman in Southwold called William Herr. Vaughan Williams and George Butterworth had arrived in Southwold and were busy talking to all sorts of people, but the family that they were most interested in were the Hers because they were the big singers of the area. And this is a version that is very rare. It's not the one that he put in the English folk song book. Uh, yeah, so this is a version that has been arranged by myself and Alex Bartholomew for more than one voice. A story to you I will relate Concerning of a pretty maid Concerning of sweet lovely Jo As she sat milking 